We just did a live head-to-head points mock draft. Let's break down our teams on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FBT in 5. Today is Friday, February 3rd. I am Frank Sample, joined by Scott White. And in this draft, Scott was drafting 4th overall, and I was drafting 12th. And we'll start with Scott's team. Take a look at the offense first before we get into the pitchers. And here's who Scotty had. At catcher, Alejandro Kirk. First base, TJ Crone. Second base, Jose Altuve. Third base, Austin Riley. Shortstop, Xander Bogarts. In the outfield, Chris Bryant. Cody Bellinger, Juan Soto. And your utility bat was O'Neill Cruz. Worth mentioning, no corner, no middle in headset points. A little bit of a shallower format here, Scott. Uh, what do you think about your offense? Very interesting with O'Neill Cruz at the utility spot. So I went pretty heavy on offense, especially given that it's a points league. And, and it's something I plan to do regularly this year. Um, my first three picks were the positions that I hope to be my first three picks in most every draft. Outfield and Juan Soto third base in Austin Riley, second base in Jose Altuve. So I got off to a nice start with the what I think are clearly the three scarcest positions, the three most critical to fill early. And yet, I feel like the offense could look a little better. I'm a little underwhelmed by it. I think there were some efficiency issues in terms of targeting certain positions at the wrong time. Uh, Alejandro Kirk, I kind of jumped in in the middle of a catcher run. Uh, there were still the Contreras brothers and Sean Murphy left on the board, and they stayed on the board for a long time after that, many, many rounds. And I would have been just as happy with them, or almost as happy with them as Kirk. I mean, this is a great scoring format for Kirk with the low strikeout rate and everything. So that was one issue. The other issue, Xander Bogarts, I was kind of anticipating a run at shortstop after uh, after Wander Franco went off the board and didn't want to get left out of that, and it was a similar situation. Uh, shortstops who I like nearly as much stuck around for several more rounds. So I think if I had gone outfielder with the, both of those picks, because I, you know, I kind of just drafted Soto and that was it for the outfield, and I ended up with Chris Bryan and Cody Bellinger as my other two. I think if I had gone outfield instead of catcher and shortstop when I did, and, and taken Brian Reynolds and Starling Marte, and still gotten one of the Contreras brothers at catcher, still gotten like a Willie Adamas at shortstop, I think I'd like my offense more. Um, but you know, shallow league like this, you know, it, it it could still go very well for me as long as I'm aggressive on the way for wire. Hey, Scott, it was our first live mock draft, right? We'll have others. This is why we do them, to, to iron it out and, and figure out what to do better. Let's take a look yeah. at the pitching staff. We've got Kevin Gosman, Max Freed, Lance McCullers, Tristan McKenzie, and Hunter Green as the starters, Scott Barlow and Yoan Duran as your relievers. And on the bench, we've got Martin Perez, Merrill Kelly, Jack Flaherty, Reed Detmers, and Jesse Winker to help out with your outfield. And you got some volatility with the pitcher, Scott, but then you balanced it with some veterans on the bench. How do you think the yeah. pitching staff worked out? I, I'm really happy with the way my pitching staff turned out, considering I didn't draft one until round four in a points league traditionally. Uh, pitcher values are higher in this format. So I go Freed and Gosman there to, I, I, I feel like, pretty good foundation guys. Uh, and and I, I, I feel like the depth is, a, is, is like I have one of the deepest pitching staffs in the league. And I prefer to go that route in a points league um, because you're so much that you're playing matchup, you're taking advantage of two short weeks. It, like volume is so important that. If you go too top heavy, it can kind of be a hindrance. And then you have to neglect your bench because you have all these holes in your hitter spots to that you have to fill. So I'm, I'm happy with the pitch, way the pitching staff turned out. All right, let's quickly run through my team. Scott, I mentioned I drafted 12th overall. You were drafting fourth. And here's what I wound up with. MJ Melendez at catcher, then Nate Lowe, Jorge Polanco, Rafael Devers, Francisco Lindor. In the outfield, Kyle Tucker, Adolis Garcia, Corbin Carroll. Taylor Ward is my utility bat. At starting pitcher, I've got Lance Lynn, Joe Musgrove, Julio Arias, Luis Severino, Christian Javier. My relievers, Kenley Jansen and David Bednar. Not going to run through the bench here, Scott, but it feels pretty good. It feels balanced. I took hitters with three of my first four picks to Julio Arias in round four. Um, and then I kind of hammered starting pitcher, and then I went back to hitter. So I had a lot of 
I had a lot of runs in this draft. A lot of hitters, then a lot of pitchers, and then I went back to hitter, and I feel like it worked out pretty well. Yeah, I mean, there's some volatility in the lineup here with Melendez, Nate Lowe, Jorge Polanco, Adolis Garcia. I have as a bus candidate this year, Taylor Ward. And there's volatility in mine, too, though. So I, I think... I feel like on paper, this this looks like this is a really strong team. And, you know, nobody can predict the future. Nobody can predict what's going to go wrong with those guys. But based on what I think is most likely to happen for them, you're, you're going to be fine with them as your starters all season. And, and then your pitching staff is, is deep as well. So uh, I think I like your team a little more than mine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and, yeah. Yeah, I'll just I'll just keep it at that. Yeah, look, I normally don't wait on starting pitcher in this format, but you know I wanted to try it out and see how it works, and yeah, it turned out pretty good. So maybe this is something I'll do in actual leagues this season. We are going to uh, wrap there. If you want to listen to the full length podcast, you could do so at Fantasy Baseball Today on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in five, and we'll be back again next week. Bye bye. 